Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waharakakudash, Kal Halaliyam, La Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waharakakudash. And double honors to the elders who rule well. The apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and to all of brothers throughout the four winds continue doing the works in truth and sincerity. Shalom and Barakatham. This video is not going to be too long, but as you can see on my screen here, it looks like a bug out, right? A bug out, a foolish man that has no understanding and is not interested in prophecies. You can clearly see on the screen here, right? And brothers already know who this, this dude is with the dreadlocks, way out of order. But anyway, oh man, I watched a, a brother's uh, video, a brother from Grey Millstone, I believe it was yesterday. And he went into this bug out here, and um, he was uh, going in on this on this demon here. So I was like, you know what, man? Let me do a video of my own. And I went on this dude's page, Army of Israel headquarters. Um, this first video you see here it says uh, the top video, 28 views, 24 minutes ago. Happy Thanksgiving, 2021. Your favorite, right, 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 right. That's a rap video, a dude rapping. Um. This third video here, um, we're just going to play it, man. Just show you that these dudes ain't interested in, in the scriptures. And they don't love Yahweh, the Father, the Heavenly Father. And they don't love Yahweh Shai. They're not here to worship the Father and the Son. They're here to do their own thing, get likes and views. And I, this was humorous to me, you know. I'm going to play some, some of these videos. And I'm going to grab some scriptures, man. So let's start with... Um, Let's start with uh, this one right here. Let's let's go. This is the example. This is what you young men. I gotta point this out real quick, man. You young men are not being brought up in the nourishment and the love and admonishment of the heavenly Father and His Son Yahweh Shai. You're not not with with these type of niggas here. You can't. It's impossible. All right. So avoid niggas like this. Let's play. Can't make this up. Right? Let's grab another one. Fucking nigga. Help, they, they attacking me. They're <laughs> throwing the leaves on me. Help, they're killing him. Help, they're fucking sleep. Oh, no, he's safe. They ain't right, man. Why they do that? This is, um... Now the scriptures say what? Yeah, how was I said uh, those matter of fact, let's grab it. Let's grab that first. Unbelievable, man. Seek. This is Luke chapter 14 and verse 26. This is something you'll see Edomites do. Rolling around and playing around on leaves at a, at a park or something like that. This nigga ain't interested in prophecy. Luke chapter 14 and verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters. Yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and, and come after me cannot be my disciple. You ain't going to see nowhere in the scriptures 
that when, when the apostles or the disciples, which later on became apostles, when they started following Yahweh Shai, they didn't have this foolish behavior with them. It was time to put off the old man and to be renewed in, in your mind. Put on the spirit of prophecy. Go out there like a man. Gird up that loins like a man. This nigga's a family man. That's why a lot of you Israelites are going to be put to death. Right? So he don't he don't love Yahweh Shai because he loves his his father, his 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 children, his sisters, his brethren. Okay, because he believes that this society and this kingdom is gonna continue forever. He don't believe in a new kingdom to come with immortal bodies. This he doesn't. You can clearly see it in the dude's face. He's he's bugged out. Okay. Right? I'm going I'm to read this a few times. I'm going to grab this in Ephesians chapter 5. I'm going to bring this out. We're going to go into a couple of definitions. I'm going to go back to the videos, uh, to his videos, that I'm going to go back to the scriptures. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 4. Let's start, matter of fact, let's start at verse um, 1. Be ye therefore followers of me, followers of God, as dear children of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, as dear children. That word for followers, I'm pretty sure it says mamites. Okay, so the Lord is saying to be followers of, of yeah, mamites, which means to mimic. Well, uh, imitate, right? We're mimicking and rehearsing the righteous acts of what the Most High wants to be um, displayed, what the Most High wants us to display out there, to, you know, the type of conduct that we're supposed to have. So, mamite, follower, right? So, he's not doing that. Verse 2, and walk in love as a, as a Mashiach Yahweh Shai also loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh, to, Yah to the Most High for a sweet smelling savor. But fornication and uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becometh saints. Here it goes. This is the point right here. Verse 4, neither filthiness nor foolish talking. This nigga got a fucking, um, well, damn, what's that, 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 the, the fucking Gilligan's Island. I don't know if you brothers remember that, 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 that TV show, Gilligan's Island. It was out there like in the 80s, the 70s, and 90s, around that time. This nigga got a fucking Captain Maharaka Gilligan's Island hat on. That's, that's foolishness, man. Nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. So... Um, jesting, let's go, foolish talking, you know this dude is, he's foolish with his speech, right? Let's go into jesting. Um, Greek word. Strong's G2160. Eutrapelia. 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 Pleasantry. Humor. Oh, this nigga got a sense of humor. You know, it's, it's a time for everything. There's a place and time for everything. Brothers might be out there. When we go out there on the Howards and Bowers, you have to show a, at least some type of sense of humor because you stress the fuck out. But you at least know in your mind that you're doing the will of the Heavenly Father and you're doing the will of Yahweh Shai. You're, you're mimicking and you're following what the scriptures uh, command us to do. And that's to go out there on the Howards and Bowers. That's to gird up our loins like a man. That's to prophesy, set our face against Mount Seir, Esau, Edom, and, and sharply rebuke these niggas, niggas like this. So pleasantry, you know, so there's a time for everything. Going back to this, pleasantry, humor, factiousness in a bad sense, scrutiny, ribaldry, low jesting. Let's look at this word right here. I want to see this, what this says here. Ribaldry. 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 Amusingly coarse or irrelevant talk or behavior right because what you're doing is irrelevant for the times we are living in it's irrelevant all your videos is like playing with your kids rolling in in in, in. that's the shit you see edomites do at parks on bobsleds you know rolling down hills with their dogs playing around <laughs> like they they having a good old time rudeness okay so amusingly coarse or ir Irreverent talk, my bad, irreverent talk or behavior. Yeah, it is irrelevant what the hell he's talking about. But let's look this word up. So lock it for that. I'm um, showing a lack of respect for people or things that are generally taken seriously. And this nigga's known to, to, to mock brothers in Great Millstone. 
because we have a uh, a way of presenting and 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 speaking when we present our speech out there. Yahweh Bash, the Wadi Yahweh Bash, Shem Yahweh Shai, um, um, Kol Halalim Yahweh Bash, Shem Yahweh Shai. When we go into prophecies, this nigga has videos mocking us. You know, go on his page. Right from seven years ago or whatever other pages he has. Disrespectful, scornful. Right? Let's look at another word. Let's look at this word. Facetious. Facetious. F treating serious issues with deliberately inappropriate humor. Flippant, oh man, treating serious issues, which we know that the mark of the beast is a serious issue, right? Getting that jab is a serious issue, right? World War Three, those are serious talks. No, we, 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 you know, the scriptures say what the prudent man hideth himself because he foreseeth the evil. A prudent man, a wise man, ain't gonna be acting like he's acting. That wise man is going to be stuck and meditating and he's going to be in a, a meditation uh, and constantly occupying in prophecy. He's not going to be um, wandering around as a, as a brute beast. Um, you know, he's not going to be wandering around or playing games. He's not going to be doing that. He's going to be, his feet are going to be planted on, on solid, firm ground. He's going to be, his spirit is going to be grounded into the truth. This nigga just ain't got it. So he has facetious. facetious behavior, inappropriate humor. All right. Enough of that. So read that again. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 4. Neither filthiness nor foolishness nor, nor foolish talking nor jesting which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. Here's another one. Now the scripture I'm about to bring out, I believe it does go into that, but it, it also could uh, mean something else too, which I'm going to have to go into the, because this was happening in the church of Corinth, the scripture I'm about to read here, but I'm going to bring it out anyway, which is uh, appropriate to bring out, but it goes into something further than this, but not to sound all deep, you ain't, you know, you ain't got to do that. First Corinthians chapter 13, and let's start at verse uh, 11. Matter of fact, let's highlight this one. As you can see, green is my favorite color. I use the highlight green, whatever type of, you know, certain greens I like more than others. But, hey, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. So when you're a child, you, um, when you come into the truth, right, you have to, you can't just go to the meat. You have to go into the... Um, to the milk, you have to get nourished up. You got to be built up, right? You got to be trained up. Train up a child in the way you should go. You have to do things properly and in, 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 in order. So when you're a child, you, you understand as a child, but you know you start maturing. Weaned, like the scriptures say, weaned from the milk, from his mother's breast. So when we come into this truth, you know, we... we we're, we we get nourished up. We're accustomed to to uh, our mother uh, our mother's breast. Sort of like you know we're accustomed to the simple things, or the basics of 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 this truth. Which we're, we always go into the basics. But after that, you start growing and maturing. Excuse me if I butcher that, but I know it's in there. Wean, you know. But um, verse eleven. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. Maharaka, Maharaka, what does Maha mean? Brothers, I don't know what Maha means. I know Raka, you know, means spirit. But this dude just is, he's, he's thinking like a child still, showing you that these are not the leaders of the nation of Israel. These are just dudes that have over 20 something thousand so, so, uh, uh, or 20 uh, something, yeah, uh, th uh, subscribers. All right, 28,000 subscribers, whatever he's got. I'm going to go back on his page. But, the point is that they're not here to feed the sheep. They're not here to tell the sheep, look, man, don't act like this. Don't do that. Don't go out there acting like that. Don't be putting up videos. And I'm going to play more of the videos that he has, like, uh, just out of order, man. But 
But when I, when I became a man, I put away childish things. Didn't the Most High tell Job to gird up thy loins like a man? Like man up, man up. These are not the real men of Israel. They're not, they're not teaching you the appropriate doctrine. They're not, man, they're not keeping the sheep safe. They're not doing that. If there's men under them, you know, they're not doing that. But anyway, let's go back into the video because I say they're not keeping the sheep safe because look at this video. Look at this shit. Look at, look at the shit they displayed. We ain't supposed to be doing this, man. Nigga. Oh, my goodness, man. Got a, got a, a microphone. Like he's in a recording studio, but outside in public. Like they said, it's out of order, man. Then he got he has to put on that that army of Israel shirt on. You know, he got to look all front, fly and fresh. You know, for anybody to pass his body, say, "Oh, damn, I could get down with this rap shit." Oh, Israelites do that, damn, hell yeah. You know, it's some old Christianity shit. These gospel rappers do shit like that. Them niggas don't know shit. They don't know scriptures, man. Let Lecrae, one of them gospel rappers, come up to the camp. I'm, I'm telling him, get the fuck down the street, nigga. Get the fuck down the street. Fuck out of it. Keep making your millions of dollars and keep on deceiving the people. You ain't gonna be put to death. Walk down a fucking street. Next one. Fucking nigga. Look at this shit. New York's finest OG brew goes down for the count. He's a mob. Check this out. Look at this shit. My back's hurt. I'm an old motherfucking OG, nigga. Nigga probably a fucking tit. He probably an eater, Mike. <laughs> yeah, Papa was a rolling stone. Yeah, check this shit out. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at oh man, this 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 inappropriate behavior. Edomites do this shit, rolling down a hill. This shit you did when you was like seven years old. Even Jace do that too, you know, as you can see on the video. But shit, but that's how you did in school when you was like seven, eight, nine, ten years old. Man, look at this shit. Gain saying Hebrews mad at my jacket, so I burnt it live. Who the fuck does this shit? There you go. This is a live video, brothers had a problem with me. Didn't video that I did with this uh, crucifix on the back on the side, so I'm burning the bitch. I mean, I'm burning. The and that's. He should have already known that because that's not the way to uh, to bear your cross. But shit, you wouldn't just do that just to burn a jacket. Like, no, just throw that shit out. You shouldn't even have had it in the first place. But look. Let's see. All right, man. Enough of this, man. Enough of this. I proved my point with that. Shalom. Man.